Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you a skin routine that I have very recently developed and it's gonna be great for treating red, irritated, sensitive skin. Especially as you can see right now, my skin is quite red and rosy on the cheeks. That's because I just started taking Accutane Isotretin known as you can see on the box. And I'm actually gonna be doing a three month course of Accutane. So it's gonna be a rough three months. <laughs> but yeah, so I had to cut down all my active ingredients and just use very soothing, very calming ingredients, which I'm gonna be showing you in this routine. Now this routine is gonna be great for everyone who has sensitive skin, who's dealing with a lot of redness. Maybe you have overdone it with your skin routine and with your active ingredients. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first up is gonna be the cleansing step. Now when you have red irritated skin and very sensitive, the cleansing step is crucial. You don't want to use overly strong, overly stripping cleansers because that could really irritate it and hurt your skin barrier more than it already is. So one that I really love is actually this Mediheal Tea Tree Biome Chica Cleanser and it actually is pH balanced so it's gonna be very gentle. It's not gonna disrupt the pH of your skin. It's very jelly, very moisturizing, you'll see. But this actually comes in a part of a skincare line from Mediheal, which is one of my favorite brands, as I'm sure you know, because I talk about them all over my channel. But it actually is from their Tea Tree Chica line. So they actually have a toner, they also have an ampoule, and they also have a moisturizer. Okay, hear me out. This cleanser is great for the summer. I just started using it and I'm already in love. It's lightweight, but moisturizing, it's gentle, and a really great way to not overstrip and irritate your skin. But it also removed my sunscreen very well, which is especially a must for the summertime. Oh, I almost forgot the main ingredients. It's got tea tree, which is anti-inflammatory and skin balancing, just like Central Asiatica, another anti-inflammatory ingredient. So this cleanser is just great for sensitive skin types and if it's irritated from the sun. And so actually, if you want to get for yourself any of these products that I'm going to mention in this video, of course, I'm going to leave them down below in the description box. The next step, of course, is going to be the toner step. Now, this is not an essential step in your skin routine, ladies. I always say it. However, when we have irritated red skin, sensitive skin, I really think it's crucial. We really have to use one actually even more than one. So my current favorites right now is actually this Jumiso HA toner and this is super thick and juicy. I'm really liking this. It's got hyaluronic acid so it is gonna be hydrating. It's just like a kind of like a moisturizer but I love it no nonetheless. Then there's also this Sierra Cosmetics Clear Collective Balancing Toner. I really like it because it's got I think glycolic acid and it also is gonna reduce the sebum production in your skin because it's got zinc. But again this is not soothing so the one that I actually gravitate the most right now is this one. The Mediheal Tea Tree Biome Chica toner. Honestly, Mediheal, could you have made it a little simpler for me to pronounce? Thank you. <laughs> okay, so what I really like about this toner is that not only is it calming because of the tea tree, aloe vera, the centella asiatica, which are all super soothing, but it is also a treatment toner because it contains PHAs, which are actually very gentle exfoliators. So this means that it's going to shrink the appearance of your pores, exfoliate the top layer of dead skin cells, make your skin more glowy. Really, really like it. Okay, so next up is going to be, of course, the serum step. As you can see, I have a few in my hand. I would usually say don't over do it with serums because they're really packed with active ingredients and they're really strong and they could irritate your skin. But these that I'm going to show you right now are all basically plant-based and they're very soothing, hydrating. They don't necessarily have very strong active ingredients in them. So you can really pack a punch with these. So the first one I'm going to talk to you about is of course iconic. It's actually the Cosarex Advanced Snail ooh, um, 95 Mutant Power Essence. It is an essence, but really it's got the consistency of a serum and it actually is quite, you know, thick. So uh, let's treat it as a serum, okay? And it's super hydrating, super soothing. Thing, but it really is just gonna give you a lot of glow. It's got hyaluronic acid in it, so it's really gonna be plumping. And speaking of hyaluronic acid, I also really like this cream, also from Jumiso, just like the toner, which is the Waterfall Hyaluronic Acid Cream. Now, this has the consistency, as you can see, basically of like the Neutrogena Water Boost, and it's great for the summertime. I have talked about this in my summertime video, but it's just so thick and so hydrating, uh, even more than the Neutrogena one. But also, my favorite out of these currently, I think, is actually this one. And it's the Mediheal Tea Tree Biome Blemish Chica Ample. As you can see, this is serum, so it's a lot more greener than, for example, the toner because it's a lot more concentrated. And I really like this one. It's super soothing and moisturizing. Like, when you apply this, when my skin is super dry from my Accutane and, like, you know, like, it, it almost itches and it's it's super dry, I apply this and I instantly feel a relief. So, yeah, this contains 87% tea tree. And at this concentration, tea tree, not only is it going to be anti-inflammatory, but it's also going to help reduce the appearance of blemishes. It also is going to be oil controlling, so it's going to reduce excess sebum, so it's great for people with oily skin. And of course, it's going to be moisturizing, soothing, hydrating. Now, an optional step that you can do, but it's not really optional. Like, when I say optional, I actually mean mandatory. Kind of like, you know, like in the summertime, teachers actually tell you, you don't really have to do the summer homework to be nice, but then once you come back at school, they're going to be like, so where's your summer homework, Matt? Did you do it? And I'm like, no, because you told me it wasn't, like, compulsory. But now it is, yes. 
it's the same thing. You actually want to do this religiously every night. And what it is, it's aloe vera gel. I love this one specifically, but aloe vera gel is a secret that every person with acne should be using because it really is going to reduce the inflammation caused by the acne, the redness caused by the acne. It's anti-inflammatory. It's just amazing. Also for the summertime. Oh my God. But now moving on to the cream. If you know any feeling about me, I am the self-proclaimed king of moisturizers. I just love hydration so much. These two from Cosarex have been one of my staples in my skincare routine for such a long time. This is the Honey Moisturizing Mask. It's a sleeping mask, but really it's a moisturizer, okay? And this is the rice version. They have such a jelly nice consistency. The Honey one actually has 87 propolis extract, which is essentially honey, which has very good anti-inflammatory purposes. It also has beeswax, which is very moisturizing and kind of like, you know, it's going to retain all the moisture onto your skin. And then the rice one actually has a 68% of rice extract, which is actually one of the ancient secret ingredients in the skincare routine for a lot of Asian people, especially like Chinese culture. But this next one, if I were to pick one of the three, completely being honest, I actually would pick this one. I recently just introduced this in my skincare routine, but it's got such a, a jelly thicker consistency than these two. This is a lot more moisturizing, I would say. Okay, so I actually use this as my pre-moisturizer. So I first use this and then I go in with a thicker moisturizer since I'm on Accutane. But this is amazing because it actually contains five different types of hyaluronic acid with different molecular weights. So it's basically going to penetrate in all the different layers of your skin and moisturize all the layers of your skin. Super great. Also the consistency, as you can see, it's giving me a very glowy look and it's super juicy and it's actually super soothing. Like no joke, as soon as you apply it on your skin you can literally feel it like doing ah so good one of my favorites this next cream is a must for everyone i think every skin types and this is going to be a ceramide and panthenol cream ceramides are the biggest building block in your skin so to replenish them it's really going to strengthen your skin barrier and just help it retain a lot of moisture that we already put on our skin with the other ingredients and products that i told you about before and panthenol panthenic acid which is vitamin b5 is actually super soothing it's great actually for people with eczema it's very thick and soothing and so this cream as you can tell from the consistency it's very thick in itself and a great alternative to this one is the Dr. Jart one. Kind of like the same concept, but mwah, it is amazing, a staple. And so here we are. This is what these ingredients and products are going to give you this glow right here. I'm actually not done because before, like closer to when I go to bed, I'm going to actually start applying thicker moisturizers just because I'm on Accutane. So I actually apply the First Day Beauty Ultra Repair Cream in the bottle, not the tub, because the tub is thicker. And I would say that's for the wintertime. And this one, it's for the summertime. So very good. It's a little bit less thicker, but just as good. And then I also go in with the Simple Ridge Replenishing moisturizer. That's a moisturizer that I use all year round. It's very cheap, very effective. And then of course, lastly, sunscreen. Of course, this is my nighttime skincare routine, so I will not be applying sunscreen, even though I know that some very weird, very weird, weird people apply sunscreen before going to bed. I'm just very curious to know. Please, if you're any one of those people, let me know in the comments down below. What is your thought process behind it? What person in their right mind would want to apply sunscreen before going to bed? Are you going to be tanning while you're sleeping? Do you sleep in hell? Is that why? Anyways, if you want a very good sunscreen that's also soothing, it's gonna be the actually Cosarex Aloe Vera Gel. Gel SPF 50 plus 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 plus. So just as the name suggests, it's called aloe vera gel. Just the same benefits as I told you before with this one over here. I know there's been some controversy around Korean sunscreens, but once again, just as I said before, just because there's one rotten apple in the bunch doesn't mean that the whole bunch is off. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, if you want to buy any of the Medicul products that I showed you in this video, you can actually get them down below in the description box because I left the link to each one of these. Oh my god, I have to scratch my neck. See this is how it is. Your skin just starts itching out of nothing because it's actually quite dry. But anyways, guys, if you did this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Of course, subscribe and turn the bell icon so you don't miss any uploads. And of course, ooh, because we talk all about skincare on this channel, what I'm here for is to help with your skin routine with any issues you might have. If it's acne, red, irritated skin, wrinkles and anti-aging, also plastic surgery, this is all a bit of me. So if that sounds like a thing, make sure you join because we would love to have you here. Mwah. You can also follow me on my Instagram and on my TikTok, but from a random, there's a lot more skincare, beauty, plus plastic surgery content that you're not going to see here that you're going to see over there. But excuse me, where do you think you're going? You're not click on this video. What you need to do right now is click whatever these two videos are here, just as informative, informational, whatever it is you do. But while you do that, remember to random and always be random.